Hey Flat Office, I thought it would be really good to do an add to the pro comparisons by looking at the swing of a great young Australian golfer, Cameron Smith, the number two in the world. His swing is exciting to watch, it's so natural and smooth, he has an exciting game quite apart from his absolutely outstanding putting. So without further ado, let's go into it and I'll show you some images of his swings and mark some of them up. You will also see a few very short clips of his swing going in the background as well. Let's start with his setup. His setup is really old school with his tailbone pointing down. He has more of a rounded back than most other players. But what is also key is that you don't see any reach when he's going for his driver. He's not reaching out. He's very relaxed with his arms down by his sides, and that's where he has his grip. So he's not sticking it out like that. He's, it's nice. He's already in a nice and easy position. That's key to his setup. On his takeaway, don't be fooled by his slightly toe down club face position. He moves his left arm quite some way and from down the line you can see in the image that his club head covers his hands. Copy that. So as you get to that parallel position, make sure your club face is covering your hands. At the top, his club is across, slightly across the line. That's a good thing for amateurs and club golfers to copy who tend to lay out a bit too flat and then they don't have either the power or the ability to come down shallow. So he gets it across, look at that straight left arm at the top, but he's slightly across the top of his line. It's allowing him and that gives him that lag to, for him to come down. Think about that as something more to do rather than just getting that takeaway right and then keeping it flat and then coming down. You lose all your ability to get your distance and to use power effectively. On his downswing, once he's up there across the line, he needs to obviously come down smoothly. And he achieves that by turning his hips and his chest turning his hips and his chest open, which allows him then to just drop his hands, almost like an under throw, under swing throw of the ball. Imagine you've got the ball, a ball in your hand. So he's opening up like that, and that allows him to come down nice and smoothly. One of the key things on impact that you want to avoid is coming too close, something that I suffer from from time to time, so as you come down, you don't want that head to be too close. And he achieves that by using his right forearm to give him that correct face position on impact. So he's coming down and then he uses that right forearm. And then on release, if you can see the grip from the back, you can see the grip as you release, you are bringing your club down too quickly. So he does it more as a, almost like an angle as he comes through and then turns around. So he doesn't let the club go out like that more like that. That is a super release which allows him then to turn 
all the way through. So think about that release position because again he's using that lag, he's getting that impact using his forearm and then he's, he's turning it so the club is there as he releases as opposed to there. Those are six key things that you can take away from Cam Smith's superb swing. I hope you have found these useful. Do give me a like, do subscribe, lots more exciting things to come. See you on the flip side.